Welcome, Dragon Champions, to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am with my man, Nerd This. He's over here. Over, over, over there, over there, over there. Guys? Yeah. Hey, we're here. We're going to be talking about Dragon Champions. New announcement here today. Uh, up oh, yeah. on the screen, if we go ahead and pull that up, we have a new announcement here from Emerald Dragon. It says, hi, Champions. 2019 is over, and I'd like to share some of the results that were going on. If you have not seen this, the announcement is in my Discord. My Discord is in the link below. The announcements there. Go ahead down to my Discord, read the announcement for yourself. I don't want to go through too much of it, but what we'd like to do is talk about our excitement with the announcement. I want to hit some of these highlights with you real quick. Uh, real things, the things that I thought were really, really interesting about the project. So, this project, their team used to be five people, all right? Five In 2018, days. five people, and they've grown to Their now 15 people. Easy, Yep, I'm sure there are. Yes, Elizabeth, we know you're there and we love you. Keep doing such a good job. We really enjoy everything you do with community outreach. Uh, but if the team has grown to five people. The game has a 4.9 star rating on the on the App Store and 4.6 on Google Play. Uh, 5,000 people officially on their Discord. But even more of those people play the game. But what yeah. we care about is what are they working on now? And they tell us they have right. new quest system coming uh, once a month. We have 21 new heroes including two new races that's really exciting two new game modes one for individual groups of players and one for guilds so that's kind of an interesting thing i'm not sure if that what that exactly it, it means it may or may but, not be interesting right it may or may not but it's it's certainly intriguing a new goblin theme raid for bravest heroes so that's going to be cool lots of improvement in quality of life and there'll be more, even more opportunity to just get blue scrolls and get way more scrolls as well we're also thinking about increasing the gear cap gear level to 12 and skills to 7 but they make it very clear that that's not going to happen real soon and no they're not increasing the level cap that's for sure so those well, are the, the things other, that we and, absolutely well, need to know thing there is they're changed they're changing the rune uh how they're going to give out runes as well oh yes gonna that's right increase the output from additional sources or they're going to uh change something about how they're currently being done in tournaments so that, that's correct on that. Yeah. So those are really, really cool ways to do that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the different things that we're, we have here. Uh, Carnifax, we're going to have another video over on your channel, right? We're going to have a video on your channel talking about things that we want to see um, going forward. But let's talk about what are what do you how do you feel about this announcement? Does it get you excited? How do you feel? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, so uh, definitely we were hurting a little little bit for content. I know it's crazy that you know in in a couple months we've had you know obviously like the the raid that the game started with we've got a couple legendary characters come out and we're like oh well we need more content but um uh because of how not obnoxiously expensive this game was the, the whales really did blow through it kind of in a way that you don't typically with a major ip because i mean my gosh you really got to fork over for those um and i want to clarify too that like those two new game modes, I mean, to me, they scream that they're for those who've played Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, right? The 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 prior Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes homeless. Um <laughs> uh it sounds exactly like it's probably gonna be uh Grand Arena Championships and Territory Wars to me. Um they're saying we've got one that's more individual based, that's the Grand Arena Championships, that's what we've had world champ I think they'll they're gonna call it world championships. Um, they can't steal it too directly. Um, right. And in Territory Wars, just because it's a heck of a lot easier, it is so much easier to create a guild v. guild like matching system and then create nodes for people to put things in. And then you face that team as if it were like a tower. Um, a lot of the coding is going to be similar for that, whereas it would be really different if they were to do something like Territory Battles. So I, I, to me, that that's it just screams that that's what's going to be. And even though it's less interesting because it's not something that a lot of us have never been exposed to before, I like those modes a lot. So I'm not right. negging on the um, on it. These two new game modes, I like it. I just am like, I, you know, I feel like we're gonna be. Uh, I think we're gonna be stealing a few more uh, elements from <laughs> the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, but maybe they'll have something else interesting to mix it up to make it different. Um, in a way that we're not familiar with. So I'm definitely excited about some additional content. 
Well, I know that when I was reading one of the articles that I had read, um, one of the Money Money subs sent it to me, and it said one of the questions that was posed to the developers is how much different? Uh, what what can you bring to the table? And they said that they were going to bring better things, newer things. They didn't elaborate on what those were, but they have ideas. And so these could be those modes or it could be, as you're saying, you know, more, more of the same. I, I'm, I'm anticipating there to be some type of twist. Um, but Which even I'm if there's hundred percent open to, yeah. yeah, even if it there, even if there's not, I mean, I think that they've made enough subtle changes in the game on how some of the mechanics work for me that makes it just amazing. Um, what about the new races? We're going to have two new races. Yeah. Would you, do so, you think, do you know what kind of races they're going to be or what do you have any speculation well, on what you think me, the races will me, be? To me, you got to put money on doors. Even if they're not going to happen now, those they're an inevitability. They're a fan fantasy staple um, and they're noticeably negligent. In this game they're also kind of a typical uh counter to not necessarily um in like game mechanics and like meta wise but uh in like lore they're kind of a counter to goblins very frequently because they're both kind of tinkers they're both short in stature um right. so I, I feel like we're i feel like dwarves and after that it's it's uh, it will, so there's two ways of looking at it. it's either going to be two additional things one for clans and one for um uh, order or they're going to try and flesh out almost like this third um like division of sorts and i can't call it faction uh, maybe it's faction um this third faction would to go along with the demons um and if they're gonna do something like that they do maybe like undead like they, they Ooh, undead kind of having... undead would be really really cool i i, I really I, like that i don't think it'll be night elves because we already have um Fallon, like, built, who's an elf, and she's clearly, like, night elf archetype. Correct. Um, so it, I don't think it'll be night elves. I think some undead faction, and I think that could pair along with, like, the, the demon, or the undead race pair along, pairing with the demons to create, like, a third faction. So maybe they're fleshing that out, or maybe they're just going to kind of add one-to-one -one and leave the demons kind of out on their own because that's where they are at thematically with, uh, like, the lore. I, I'm, I skipped as much of the story as anybody. Um, right. But, and I did, you know, too. And I really want to go back and I want to go back now and read it. And, you know, on the Be a Dragon Champions website, they actually have all the lore typed out. If you want to just go and read it, you can do that at any time. So link down in the description below. So if you want to go and do that lore, medically, you can bank on 10 of these new heroes being towards the new races because right. they're going to have at least five. Because and this is something I was talking to Emerald Dragon about is I really do think that adding new essentially new tags um is a really it's it's a really it's a less um painful way of keeping the game funded um if you continue to have like hey this event is now going to require a race that didn't exist before or a profession that didn't exist before you know for some of these characters who are a little hurting on tags right now um you know the other thing is like little baddie only has two tags which is crazy um right. and uh so I think it's a really good way to, you know, fund the game, even though I know it sucks. So like, you know, talking about how they can get people to spend more money, but that's what keeps the game going. Um, right. is they got to keep making money. Um, now, as for new heroes, I would say the thing I am most hopeful for, for like a role within the factions, I want a real tank on the goblins. Um, I want a real yes. tank. As as fun as Adam is, you can't do him goblin exclusive right now. That seventy percent chance to taunt is just too unreliable and consistent. There's no pre taunt with it either. Where at least if there was that, that'd be something. Um, I want a real tank, real taunting tank for goblins. Um, and after that, it, it kind of goes around a little bit. Elves, I think, will be fine once they get uh, Fallon. That's that's the that's the the engine that they need pumped in. So I don't know. But so the main main gaps that I see are: can we get a, a little better healer for the orcs? Um, someone that potentially adds, like, with a passive or a leadership, adds a mechanic that allows their cooldowns to be adjusted a little bit. Um, I'm planning on doing a video soon on uh, on orcs and kind of their feasibility if you adjust those cooldowns a little bit. And basically, they can become really good if you just change those, if you can lower those cooldowns just a little bit. 
um oh, right now they, they there's such a delayed it, it takes so long for them to come online that they're utterly irrelevant in but the do you believe this game is going to is more theory crafting based or is it more uh, straightforward straightforward faction based because in my mind right i'm watching i see other content creators they making they're making guides on factions we make guides on factions the the con, the developers seem to say look you need these certain factions to unlock certain characters but well, and you I and i both know that most of the factions in the game are not fully developed. So we're talking right. about there's these arguments about Demons, where the goblins right, or orcs. Yeah. Right. What what is better? Well, in most of the teams, it's it's about theory crafting. It's about plug and play. That that's that's kind of what I'm looking at. So what do you think's going on? Do you think this game is faction based or is it is it a theory crafters? wet dream for lack of a better word let me ask that better and i'll it's, cut this yeah. out but uh but it is the is this is this game really about factions and faction right. synergy you don't, you don't or play, is it you don't check the made for for kids thing on i this, do, so okay. i do not i do not uh, where where are we currently at so uh just first of all conceptually i think a little bit of both because you can't make it so straightforward that it becomes a bit dull that there's really not even an opportunity for some theory crafting and right now i think not only are we we're in a decent spot because uh you know, we were talking to some people like solius right the best team is a hodgepodge of essentially people using the bleed mechanic we got order we got or we, we got humans we got pride we got orcs you know all those coming into play there we're about to get you know we have slated probably in the next three to four months to get uh you know general murdoch and fallon who are two of the most plug and play friendly uh characters for pve content for sure i made a video about um general murdoch when i was saying hey you know i wasn't keen on ember when she came out i didn't think she was that great over alternatives that did kind of the same thing general murdoch's different and you don't need the goblins in order to get a lot out of him for pve content uh, PvP right. is probably a different story, but PvE, he's got a fantastic kit for PvE. Um, so I think we are currently immediately headed towards a more balanced direction between the two. But the thing about factions is, again, it's these requirements that right. fuel the the farming in the game, right? Between all the ability challenges, these recurring events, unlocking legendary characters. Um, I, and I, I think having that be the engine that gets you to a point where you can do theory crafting is the best way to do it because it helps people to kind of broadly experience the game to focus on gaining all of accumulating all these material materials efficiently and then they end up actually with all that stuff and they're able to engage in more interesting combinations and stuff all right well i i know me i'm really excited about the things that are coming i think you're absolutely right i think you're making a, a lot of good points when you say that we're you know this game was r relatively inexpensive um from as mobile titles go people could get into the game if you spent you know i say a thousand dollars like it's nothing it, it is a lot of money but if you spent a thousand dollars in this game you, you got a lot more than you did in other games a lot more than you did in other games and it got you to the end and i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of i've been thinking about that i have people who will who will message me and say well what should i do like i'm using snorri and one of the, my last mm -hmm. comments they're like i'm using snorri should i continue to you level up snorri or should i go somewhere else and if you look at my account right now right i have every single character in the game unlocked except for Phelia, who's i haven't even bothered um right i'm not yeah i'm not putting in time here i've i unlocked shadar today but i'm not gonna level i'm not gonna get him up i'm just gonna wait yeah. there's no point right and no. then but when someone's like okay well i have snorri well, I, okay, well, if you give me, and this is really kind of what I'm thinking of, say, like, with the last characters that head up, Hilda, Yogi, Diesel Rog, and even Phalia, what am I using them for? What's the purpose? What is well, Hilda's so purpose? Right? I don't know what I'm going to use her for because I already have tanks, like, Ken so Lee minor, leveled. I'll, I'll go ahead and spoil alert that for you. It's a minor thing. Uh, right. Hilda overall doesn't have the kind of sustain that Ken Lee does because of his passive. But she has a lot more attack, and it's really hard 
to get progress on these defender challenges like we know so it is a lot to ask like hey do you want to go in on this character to get farther on the defender challenge but that's that's real um for yogi he is a he is a theory crafting like he he's a big source of theory crafting potential uh for pve content not for none of these characters are going to impact the pvp meta whatsoever right. they're going to be a blip on the radar diesel rog uh, just doesn't have he's way too slow to do too much and who knows maybe there'll be some situation where uh, but I, even then, I'm not super pumped about. He's he's the one I actually think there's the least value to. But Phalia, um, I'm gonna do a video about this in a little bit, just like I did with uh, Solius. But it was so easy at Gear Nine to seven star the Ember event with her. Right. Well, but and the thing so is, is that easy and while using Senjiel with like low abilities. Yeah, I think you and I talked about this before. I think we talked yeah. about how how you've done this and it, it was worth super dropping easy. All this tournament cor- currency on a character that you then have to gear and then have to like all that just to be able to get someone at gear well, nine when it makes all the sense in the world to get Nightingale to gear eleven anyway, and she can pretty much carry you through that. Correct. So well, you look at my tournament, right? I or tournament coins right now. This is my main account. I have nine hundred, you know, four hundred ninety-one coins, right? Curse madnesses. Oh, hey, uh, yeah. Hello. Um, we'll go ahead and buy those. Um, right. but I, I Bori. I don't have Bori. I didn't miss him the first time around, but I didn't miss oh, anything, really? right? Yeah, yeah, I forgot to enter the tournament. I got distracted oh. with stuff and I missed him. But I've, I've played missed, with like, him on the. Yeah. T- I've missed. Uh, yeah, I I played with him on the test account. He's not game breaking. He's not providing. No, you know this huge thing it, he just isn't that um, you can't get elsewhere that you, yeah exactly that you can't get from snorri but if you're stuck and you have to use pride right he's going to help a huge with revel there's no doubt about that but you know i'm just not sure i'm you know yeah. sold on it. there's a lot of these characters i'm just like i don't know if i need you i might as well pick right. that up because i need those well, in the last in the dragon rooms. in the last couple of things that i i really like from stuff was like one for this goblin theme raid if there was not some big automatron type thing i'm disappointed i'm because i am i'm hoping that's like the final boss is they've just created this mecha craziness and that's that's the final thing um, i i think that would be really cool i think that would be really cool to have some type of you know big maybe giant have mech like a or... thing where you gotta like take out the arms in order to like damage like the center part like in the center parts, the actual HP, like something along those lines. Like, I think that could be really fun. Um, I like that they're kind of, it's hard because we, we do need, we do need a bottleneck and it frankly doesn't matter too much. You can make an argument for like, oh, well you should make purple scrolls of bottlenecks. That means only the last things were able to, or are difficult. It's like, or you can make it the blue ones. And so anything beyond like the first couple is difficult. It just depends on what Correct. you're going for. I But I, at the same time, you don't want too much imbalance. And right now it is pretty imbalanced out of favor of the blue scrolls and runes. You know, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make this pause, right? We're going to get into concerns. Like in my video, I am right. positive about the fact that they are increasing the ways in which we will or, or maybe changing the ways in which we will get more advanced runes and kind of steering away from the direction they've gone with the, the rune tournaments. Um, and the new quest system, I'm like, I, I have no clue what they're going to end up doing for this thing. Right. What are the, are the rewards going to be like awesome? Are the well, rewards going to be like, hey man, if you don't go for getting arena wins with pride, you're going to miss out on like a full piece of like a curse madness or something think by the end of a month if you don't get 50 wins in arena with pride like are they going to do something like that to really like mess with like who we're using in the meta and things like that or are they more going to use it to just kind of like hey we're going to encourage you in these directions and yeah it's making you go broader versus deeper but you know you're getting some additional stuff for it we'll see i'm I'm, i would love to see it be more like give people the incentive to do something different um, I can tell you that I would love I would one of the things that I'm really looking forward to or would like to see kind of a quality of life sort of thing is at the present moment we have like you and I we're both level 80 right we're both yeah. level 80 we're both high level uh, high level characters we have real we have good rosters we're in a top 
top five, almost top three guild, right? We we have a lot of stuff, but we're still doing the same daily quests as everyone else. The daily quests are no different. I don't have enough space. Like, there isn't anyone to farm anymore, light side, dark side, or, you know, um, you know, order and clan, really. I mean, I do have a few, have, right? Yeah, but I, I have, have to- my, like Amara and a few other peeps that, yeah, I'm slow grinding. Right, and so I'm kind of like, well, I wish I had a different different sort of quest going on. I wish I had something different sure. um, to do, but I don't. And there goes down down goes Mortha because she's weak. Uh, kind of where I'm at. There, I mean, there's some things that I wish that happens, or maybe there's daily quests, something that you could do daily, or maybe maybe there's a whole nother level of the campaign. We don't really know. Maybe they'll add some new stuff. Uh, that I they, like they're not saying that, but to the campaign at some point. Um, Probably not until they release the new level cap. Um, that would be my guess because that usually results in gear level unlocks as well. They may be changing that, but well, um, yeah. Yeah, well, I think that that's what, you know, when they said they're not increasing the gear level, right? I think, or they want, not they're yet. not increasing the, ca the level cap, they're but they're going to, closer to increasing the gear level. Yep. Yeah. And so, and I'm I'm perfectly okay with that, but they would I assume that would be in conjunction with this raid, um, and I think that yeah. would be I think that's mm -hmm. plenty feasible. I I mean we're already we've done we've done the the raid we pretty well have it on lockdown right we're yeah. our we're guild we just run right through it no yeah, problem. Yeah, we just zero hit twenty four hour finish it right. out. And so I mean there it would be nice to have a challenge, but we're still there's still lots to do. That's why you know lots we can of time talk to about. Hoard. That's right. And, you know, I hope the yeah, game doesn't yeah, become all I hope it doesn't become that um, that was uh, that would make me very upset, I think. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't, uh, I, I don't think it'll be for the same reason as it was there. Right. Oof. I want to I want to I want to go ahead and say I'm really super excited about the content. Go yeah. over to Carnivax's channel, Nerd This. Um, I will put a link in the description. Um, he talks about a lot of great information on his channel. He's got his test account set up for t gear uh, for gear nine. Um, so he's doing a lot of testing about minimum requirements and that sort of stuff. His latest video that he did on getting Soleus. I watched that today this morning. It was fantastic. Go over there and watch that video. We are going to be doing a video over there on his channel um talking about the different uh things that are we're concerned about going forward some of the concerns that are maybe going on over there um and i think that you guys will really enjoy that uh, but go ahead and jump over to his channel link's going to be in the description and we will see you next time when gaming see? and the law intersect